It's time to separate the boys from the men, the elite from the noob, and the cat from the dogs. But because seriously, those two are gonna hurt each other. But j joking aside, if you've been anywhere on social media, chances are you've heard about the first season of Ranked Play that's starting on January 9th. And you have all, and you have to be really go out of your way not to have seen the incentive of participating in this. Besides from all the rage, hand cramps, and sweat that come with competitive competition, competitions like this, there's also going to be an all new epic armor sets coming to those that participate. And depending on where you place on the ladder, the magnitude of how epic that armor is increases as well. And I'm not joking when I say that even the bronze armor that comes with just participating is pretty epic. So whatever you do, don't miss out on the first season of Ranked Play. But for those of you looking to score the lucrative Grandmaster armor set, you're in for one of the hardest competitions of Advanced Warfare thus far. Everyone, who's anybody, is going to try their hardest to get their hands on this bad boy. And if you're one of them, then let me give you some information that's crucial to the success of your conquest. First off, in order to gain the Grandmaster set, you have to place in the top 100 of the master ladder. In order to go to up the ladder, you have to win matches in ranked play. Every win is worth anywhere from 15 to 25 points, and the loss decreases your score anywhere from 10 to 20 points. After every 100 points, you have to win two out of three of the next three games in order to move up to the next ladder. There are six ladders, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and master. The top 100 and the master ladder are considered grandmasters. Before I tell you some tips on gaining these armor sets, I have one more thing to say that might scare you a little bit, just a little bit. As we all know, public matches in Advanced Warfare are focusing using are, are found using a system that takes your stats into consideration. And this sometimes puts you in lobbies with really, really good players. Well, it's a lot less forgiving in ranked play, so be prepared to try your best. All right. First off, these tips aren't trade secrets that nobody in the world knows but me, but regardless, they are they're well known for a reason, because they work. I'll start I'll start with this. You might get tempted to try and get as much kills as you can, but that isn't what ranked play is all about at all. Most, if not all, ranked play revolves around objective game types, and because of that, focus on scoring for your team. You might end the match with flawless 30 kills, but if you didn't score any uplinks, or capture any of the enemy's flags, you're more likely to lose the match and say goodbye to that awesome Grandmaster armor set. <sighs> this brings me to my second point. My second tip, sorry. In order to win in competitive matches, teamwork and communication is key. I can't express how much that it's, it's one of the most important things in winning a match. My suggestion is that you figure out who you like to work together with and ascend the ladder and choose those people to make a team. It has to be a total of four players, so you plus three more. Once you form a team, practice and rank play game modes. And if you feel like you want a bit more of an advantage, create callouts to help your team communicate quicker and clearer. And finally, if you don't play much of rank play, chances are you have your classes set up for public matches and that's not going to work in rank play. In Advanced Warfare's rank play game modes, the game modes are set to use MLG standards. So that means no UAVs, no supportive sentry guns, and this the list goes on and on so thankfully there are choice there are choices in private match where you can set up your games using the MLG standards or you could go all out and just start playing and right play and start figuring out what start adjusting your classes to fit your style while still following the MLG standards so there are those are some few tips that I have to help improve your chances of obtaining that armor that you're dying to get so I know I am as more information is revealed, we'll be sure to keep everyone updated. And one last thing before you go, make sure you smash that like button, leave us a comment down below, share this video, and subscribe to become a legend. Until next time, we'll be seeing you online.